I'm glad to be back again with Let It Out with Tonya. It's all about national issues, just like what is affecting us as a country at this present moment. That is the xenophobic attack against Nigeria citizens in South Africa. It has never really been this brutal, but we sympathize with the families of the victims. In a bid to curtail this insolence, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has announced that Air Peace Airline has volunteered to send an aircraft to South Africa from Friday, September 6th to evacuate Nigeria who wish to return to their country free of charge. Here I am in Alaba International Market speaking to a business owner who has been in the business for the past 10 years. The CEO of Kema Merchandise International Limited Oche Izike, this is the right decision the federal government should take at this time. So this is what we want to, you know, want the opinion of Mr. Uche on this very matter as a businessman. I think it could have been a better solution, but whereby they cannot uh, reach a reasonable conclusion on the aspect of the killing because they don't know whether it will stop or not. So I think uh, because of the lives of those individuals that are involved, you know, I think it's just a, uh, it's just better that way that uh, they come back. You understand? Instead of losing their lives. But if the government can do something about it with the government of South Africa, if they can reach an agreement and guarantee that the killings will stop, why not? Everybody will go about their normal lives. Okay, well, destroying things from uh, destroying South African businesses in Nigeria, you know, by some miscreants. Do you think that was the right decision? Because like shop price was burnt down in Ibadan, in Lekki they looted a lot of you know valuable goods. Do you think that was the right thing? You know, um, from time immemorial, Nigeria Nigerians have been known as peace-loving people. Uh, they are, we always welcome people, uh, other foreigners. Whenever they come tonight, we welcome them. We give them everything they would have uh, the whole enabling environment they need to strive. But you know, um, since uh, uh, the government has failed in the aspect of uh, listening to the people and carrying out the right decisions, you know, whenever they are supposed to, you know, that the people have to take the laws into their hands, and that is how they feel. That's the best way they feel that the government can hear them. I get mm -hmm. That was why they took that uh, drastic uh, uh, decision. Go it's not as if it's the right thing to do, but you know, when you have a government that sits back without uh, acting fast when something is happening, you know, the people will be forced to uh, take the laws into their hands. You know, that is just the scenario. Okay. You are a businessman, you've been in your business for years, right? Of course, yes. All right, so how would you feel if the same thing happened to you? Well, it's a sad one. It's a sad one because I know most of the shops in ShopRite there, they are owned by Nigerians. They are owned by Nigerians. ShopRite is just a platform. Uh, so destroying those things are not really right. They are not really right in a, in a, in a, in a normal uh, they are not right. Uh, but you know, uh, sometimes when you are forced, when you are frustrated, when you are frustrated, you, you take decisions that are that are not supposed to be, you understand? So that is just the way it happened. So now what do you think Nigeria government should do? Well, first of all, the, the, the right thing to do in this situation now is uh, if, if it is a must that those individuals in South Africa must come back, the government has to at least uh, provide a means Okay. For them, through which they can, you know, see, set up their businesses and uh, move on with their lives. In other words, they should see how they can settle with the South African government. That is the first thing. It is only when they cannot get a solution through that means, eh, mm -hmm. they can now also, you know, look for other uh, solutions, you know, on how to bring them back. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, provide the means through which they can set up their businesses here. You know? Because if the country is okay, if the country is okay, People will not be looking for other places to go and invest. It's true that normally people go outside to invest. Mm -hmm. You go to other countries to invest. When you feel that you, know, you can do, uh, do well over there, you go there to invest. But when your country is okay, I, you can imagine most of them, they don't have businesses yet. Mm -hmm. 
but they have in other foreign countries. Mm -hmm. You understand? So developing their uh, other countries without the uh, uh, doing so in Nigeria. So I think the country, the economy is okay, and uh, you know, security-wise and other 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 aspect of it. Uh, why? Why not? People would, would like to settle down here in Nigeria.